Sorry. Jimmy, this team found a way to win when they weren't playing their best, and that's what good teams do. How proud are you of your team? Uh, really proud. Uh, I thought a lot of guys stepped up today. Like, like you said, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't perfect by any means. But, I mean, it's a division game. We know it's going to be tough. And uh, guys just stuck with it for 60 minutes. We knew it was going to be one of those games, and it was cool. When, you, when they brought you out after that hit, I mean, that was just to check you, but everything was good. I'm just curious. Does that just piss you? I mean, you, I've never seen that look on your face like you had there. Yeah, I was pretty upset. Well, just because we were driving. I mean, mm -hmm. we were off to a good start, and uh, I didn't feel like I needed to come out. But, you know, that's, that's the NFL rule, so is what it is, I guess. What was your feeling at the end of the run that clinched the game? It was awesome. It was <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, just everything came together. I thought uh, guys really stepped up in those big moments today. That, I mean, Jacoby making that huge first down for us, getting the penalty, O-line block great today. It was, it was all those little things coming together. It seemed like you and Jacoby were really in sync today. Uh, how early on did, did you guys establish that chemistry in training camp? Uh, Jacobs has been very consistent, honestly. He's, uh, he's the same guy every day, comes out, puts in the work, and as a quarterback, when you have a guy like that, it, it makes it easy. You can trust him. But I thought a lot of guys stepped up. Tay had some big plays for us, really got that touchdown drive at the end started for us uh, on that deep out route. So it was um, – there was a lot of people stepping up in different ways. Hoop had a big catch on that drive. I mean, Josh Jacobs blocked his ass off. It was a lot of good stuff today. It's a short memory up. after the uh, pick, but then to go and do the two drives you did. Yeah, yeah, the pick, I mean, it's a terrible, stupid decision. Just uh, got to take the points there, throw it away when nothing's there. But, you know, I thought uh, yeah, mental toughness kicked in and guys stuck with it. Uh, and they, they believed in me, so I appreciate them for that. Jimmy, how did the clock in your head of when to run change throughout the game today? And uh, how, how much did you have a conversation pre, mid, and post game with your offensive line about how they did? I, I talked to them all game. Those guys did a great job. Uh, kept me clean, no sacks. I mean, that's, that's a quarterback's dream. So those guys balled out. Uh, the running kind of just happened. I didn't, didn't plan for it. Um, they rushed past me, and, you know, the opportunity was there. So saw the, saw the first down marker. I had to go get it. When you, mean, you guys no were – sorry, go ahead. Go ahead you don't win in the NFL without complimentary football, and your defense had to answer the bell a couple of times. Uh, watch it on the sidelines. How much satisfaction did you get? Yeah. Those plays. yeah, defense was awesome, man. Uh, that, that's good offense. I mean, with Coach Payton over there, it's a tough scheme to go against. But, uh, yeah, they stepped up. They made some big plays today. D-line had some cool sacks. And it was just that's – the, that's the team part of this game that I love, man. Everyone coming together, pulling the same – you could you feel it on the sidelines in the fourth quarter. It was good stuff. That touchdown throw to Jacoby, the first one, it felt like you guys were <laughs> – kind of communicating at the line of scrimmage a little yeah. bit. Um, th it, when it comes together like that, especially with a new teammate, how satisfying is that? It was <laughs> pretty satisfying, not going to lie. Uh, we've been working on that one, got the look we wanted, and uh, we were both on the same page, man. So we just made it work. He made a hell of a catch, hell of a route. Uh, he had a good celebration I heard. I haven't seen it yet. But. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Devante, you know, he spoke to us just a moment ago and said, uh, you know, you missed them, I guess, on a on a throw where you wound up settling for a field goal. Mm -hmm. And he said you came right over to him right away, like, hey, that's on me. And he, he likened it to like a girl, you know, admitting in the relationship when, they, when they've done something wrong. And he said, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Is there a question there? <laughs> how, is, how did you communicate How, how good did maybe? you communicate with Devontae and how important, <laughs> no, how important is it to, to admit when, you know, you, you are wrong to, to keep your guys, you know. I, I mean, way. I think that's what makes good teammates. Uh, when you could all, you know, admit when who was in the wrong and just be real with each other. I mean, that, that takes you a long way. There's, we spend so much time with each other, man. 17 games, we're, we're here all the time with each other. So whenever you could uh, have that relationship like that, it's always a good thing. So. Jim, I talked to Max about this. There was a time when you guys were struggling a little bit. I don't know if you could notice it. Your entire defense was up and cheerleading. The only thing they didn't have was pom-poms. They just they were cheering you guys. And he talked about he just knew you were going to get it on track. What's it mean when you got a team where each other are cheering the other on? It means a lot. I mean, that's, that's what makes for a good team. I've been on some good teams, and that's every one of them has had that. So it's just, um, you know, we're just getting started here. But you can feel we're off to a good start. One and all feels good. But uh, you know, we'll regroup this week, lick our wounds, and uh, we're moving on to Buffalo. This was a 